we can also say CH3 over here. Now let's move to the next question. Okay, so complete the equations to show the types of polymerization. Draw one repeat unit for each polymer. Include any other products. Okay, so uh, we have to draw only one repeat unit. So n molecules of propene combine. So obviously there's a polymer. So first let's write propene in the correct structure for a polymer. So let's just write a displayed structure and then we know how to make a polymer from it. So we have C double bond C. We have two hydrogens on this one and H and CH3. So this is our structure and when we polymerize this we will have C C H H H and CH3. So this is this will be polypropene. This will be one repeat unit of polypropene. And as you know, there are no other products. Now condensation polymerization. So in this, we are combining this dicarboxylic acid with this diol. So we will have uh, in one repeat unit, we will have CO. And also we have, to, uh, sorry about the interruption, but we'll have to do N over here because obviously N molecules will combine. So this just shows uh, us being professional. But since this says draw one repeat unit, the N is not necessary. But I just wanted to remind you that whenever they have not mentioned one repeat unit, you'll have to put the N. Now this is one, so this was one repeat unit. Now in this case, we'll have C, CO, sorry, CH2. Again, CO, this will form a polyester because carboxylic acid and alcohol. CH2, CH2, O, and this will be one repeat unit. And we'll also get N molecules of H2O because uh, obviously H2O is being released and they said we have to include any other products. So this is one repeat unit and we released H2. So this is, now we have another question. Name an example of a synthetic polyester and a synthetic, synthetic polyamide. So a polyester we know is terylene. I told you to remember the name. Terylene and polyamide nylon. Polyesters and polyamides are formed by condensation reaction. Name a molecule which is commonly eliminated in such reactions. Water. We just saw that. Water, water is commonly eliminated. Now, uh, Let's do this example. The table shows the repeat units of a number of polymers. Place a tick against the ones which are biodegradable. Okay, so um, we have a repeat unit. Okay, we have this one. So we know that this is biodegradable because we have the ester group inside the polymer chain. So we have we can have hydrolysis happening. So this will be biodegradable. Again, ester link within the polymer chain. Then. However, in this we do have an ester link, but it is not inside the polymer chain because this is the main polymer chain. This is the main polymer chain, no ester, so I will not place a tick over here because it will not break down upon hydrolyzing. And then for D, we have an amide group, definitely biodegradable because hydrolysis can happen. The amide group is inside the polymer chain, so I'll place a tick over here. Now. Um, Draw the structures of two monomers used to form polymer B. Okay, so this is polymer B the, on the screen. The two monomers. So this was one repeat unit of polymer B. So I'll have to take this as one monomer and this as one monomer. So this, uh, sorry, not, I just made a wrong bracket, not this. Let me just erase the square because it was confusing me as well. So this will be one monomer and this will be one monomer. So this will be, oh, this is the one we've been doing since the beginning. We actually made this polymer. I, I made this for you when I first taught you condensation polymers. So this would be the polymer, um, a very bad benzene ring on my behalf. So I will just write H O 
Stunden.